Picture this, a cityscape where the streets are more akin to canals, a modern day Venice, not by design, but by necessity. Right now, as we go about our daily lives, an invisible threat looms. Climate change is steadily lifting sea levels almost imperceptibly, yet with unrelenting force. Experts aren't just sounding the alarm, they're escalating it. The consensus is clear. This upward trend isn't just continuing, it's picking up speed. Envision thousands of urban areas, the heartbeats of millions, perched precariously by the coast. They stand as front row witnesses to a creeping transformation, a silent invasion of water reshaping their existence. For countless individuals, this isn't a dystopian scene from a future novel, it's the stark reality of their here and now. In the far-flung polar realms, a story unfolds in silence. These majestic titans, the polar ice caps and glaciers, stand as unwitting victims in the saga of global warming. Their rapid demise, unnoticed by many, is a stark reality. As they relent to the rising temperatures, a deluge is set free, swelling our oceans. But there's more to this narrative than just ice. Beneath the waves, a subtle yet profound transformation is underway. Our oceans absorbing heat are swelling, a process known as thermal expansion. This unseen force is as pivotal as the melting ice in the tail of our encroaching seas. Together, the dwindling ice giants above and the expanding seas below are redrawing the very map of our world. The ongoing thaw and the warming waters don't just impact the polar outposts. Their ripples are felt worldwide. These distant icy sentinels and our own expanding oceans are not just global issues. They're knocking at our doorstep, altering landscapes we call home. Imagine a world where our beloved coastlines, once the pride of our cities, are now battlegrounds against an encroaching sea. The rising waters, once dismissed as a distant concern, are now reshaping our reality, relentlessly redrawing our maps, and not to our advantage. Picture the heart of your city, your favorite spots, now facing a watery siege, not as a rare event, but as a recurring nightmare. But the story doesn't end with floods. Our coastlines, those picturesque junctures of land and sea, are under assault. The ocean, in its inexorable push, is redefining landscapes, menacing our infrastructure, and in tragic instances, erasing entire areas from existence. Yet the most heart-wrenching aspect lies in the human toll. Communities steeped in history and memories find themselves uprooted, compelled to abandon their ancestral homes and redefine their identities. Our coastlines, as we cherish them, are undergoing a metamorphosis. In response, so must we. It's a call to adapt, to rethink our relationship with nature and to steel ourselves for a future that's already at our shores. From the sinking beauty of Venice's canals to the vulnerable deltas of Bangladesh and the beachfronts of Miami, a global battle rages against the rising tides. Each city, each community confronts its own set of trials, but they are united in a common struggle against a relentless foe, the unyielding advance of the sea. Let's journey to Venice, Italy, a city synonymous with canals and historic splendor. Long battling subsidence, Venice now contends with an even more formidable opponent, escalating sea levels. In response, Venice has turned to modern marvels like the Mose Project, an ambitious system of movable barriers aimed at holding back the high tides. This engineering feat symbolizes human resilience and innovation in the face of environmental challenges. Yet it's also a powerful reminder of the pressing need for lasting solutions. Next, we explore Bangladesh, a nation perpetually at odds with flooding. Here, rising seas are not a looming threat, but a present reality. With a significant portion of the country just a few meters above sea level, the Bangladeshi people are at the forefront of climate change. Their strategies are as diverse as their challenges. Floating schools navigate the waters, while mangroves are cultivated to serve as natural defenses. Their indomitable spirit is awe-inspiring, yet the scale of their challenge is a sobering indicator of what lies ahead. And then there's Miami with its pulsating nightlife and iconic beaches. Yet, beneath its glittering surface, Miami grapples with a grim reality. Built on porous limestone, it's acutely susceptible to sea level rise. The city's response involves pouring billions into infrastructure, elevating roads, installing sophisticated pump systems. These necessary measures underscore the staggering costs and complexities of adapting to our changing climate. In each of these cities, the struggle is unique 
Yet the fight is universally shared. Be it through technological innovation, adaptive strategies or infrastructural overhaul, these urban frontiers showcase the human capacity to confront and adapt to our evolving planet. Their stories are more than isolated tales of resilience. They are a collective clarion call for action. The rising seas respect no borders, and our efforts to address them must be equally boundless. In this epic confrontation with rising seas, our most formidable ally is our own resourcefulness. As we voyage through these choppy waters of change, it is our collective creativity and forward thinking that blaze the trail. We're not just charting a course to survive, we're sculpting a vision to flourish in our dynamic environment. Consider the Netherlands, a nation historically at odds with the sea, now a pioneer in water management. Mighty sea barriers and sophisticated dike systems are not just constructions. They are symbols of our resilience and adaptability. These feats of engineering, born from the wellsprings of human ingenuity, stand as bold declarations of our capability to reshape our destiny. Our approach, however, transcends mere defensive tactics against the encroaching seas. We are in the midst of an urban renaissance. Cities are transforming, adopting vertical expansions with skyscrapers and reinforcing their very bones with flood walls and elevated infrastructure. Our urban landscapes are metamorphosing into bastions of resilience designed to weather the storms of tomorrow. Yet the change is not only in concrete and steel. It's in the very ethos of our governance and global cooperation. Nations and international entities are rallying, deploying strategies to tackle climate change head on. From harnessing the power of renewables to instituting carbon levies, these initiatives are critical fronts in our collective struggle against rising waters. The destiny of our coastal cities lies squarely in our hands. We are the sculptors of this future. Each policy enacted, every building erected, each innovation embraced contributes to fortifying our defences against the tides. The fate of our coastal metropolises is intertwined not just with the whims of the oceans, but with the vigour of our actions. The tides are rising, but so too is our determination. Our coastal jewels, bustling with life, rich in culture, face a daunting challenge, yet we are far from defeated. In our arsenal, we have the spark of innovation, the resilience of our communities, and the power of united resolve. Together, we can forge protective barriers, sculpt cities that bend but don't break, and enforce policies that turn the tide against climate change. We have the power to educate, to advocate, and most importantly, to act. Remember, every small step contributes to a giant leap. Each energy-saving bulb, every item recycled, each vote cast for green policies, collectively they create a groundswell, a counterwave to the rising seas. This battle is about recognising the symbiosis between the well-being of our planet and the choices we make daily. It's about transcending apathy and inertia. As the seas swell, so too does our capacity to overcome. It's about rising above complacency, above indifference. The seas may rise, but so too can we, for the sake of our cities, for the legacy of our future.